CMS is one of the four detectors which will be placed around the world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. The LHT is essentially a tube 27 kilometers long, 100 meters underground, which will go approximately there. particles will be accelerated in opposite directions using radio waves. It's a bit like the protons were pretending to be surfers riding the waves. Each of these tubes contains a superconducting magnet. Over 5,000 are needed to keep the protons in a circular path. When they reach their maximum energies, the two beams of protons will be sent smashing into each other at four specific collision points around the ring. In the LHC, the probability of creating a new and interesting particle is extremely small, perhaps as difficult as finding a needle in a million haystacks. So, to get something interesting, we need to collide the protons very often. At LHC, there will be about a thousand million collisions every second. Just to make our job more complicated, some of these particles have a very short life. And before we can capture them, they have already transformed into something else. So, we are a bit like detectives. We look at the evidence and try and find out who done it. We can't store all information from every collision, so we have some clever electronics and software, which keeps only the potentially interesting stuff. For example, if we see a muon in our detector, it's evidence that someone heavy and important was around. We cannot observe directly a proton collision inside the detector. So to know what really happened, you will have to combine all the different signals from the subdetectors of CMS and then reconstruct what happened during the collision. So in this screen, you have a simulation of what could happen uh, inside CMS. So you have two protons colliding coming from this uh, wide tube and then creating a whole lot of particles and in particular the two pink ones they are electrons and the red ones muons. This is a simulation of a Higgs event so if we observe something like that in our detector then we will be happy. So now we only need to find the needle in a single haystack. <coughs> Ouch! I found it! Why are we doing all of this? We want to pursue our understanding of the universe as it is and as it was. There are many unsolved mysteries. Why is the electric charge of the electron exactly the opposite of the charge of the proton? And by the way, what is charge? Why do some particles have more mass than others? For instance, why does the proton have a mass about 2,000 times the one of the electron? At the time of the Big Bang, there was an equal amount of matter and antimatter. But now we only have matter. Where has all the antimatter gone? Why is it that the universe is clumpy, with matter concentrated in galaxies? Why is it not just a big ball of energy? From our observations, it seems that the universe is hiding most of its mass and energy. Where is the dark matter and energy? Einstein, I go, go. Well, we have some possible explanations which will be studied at CMS. For example, a theory known as supersymmetry may give us the answer to the question of where all the mass in our universe is hiding, while a phenomena called CP violation could help us understand where all the antimatter has gone. And then there's the Higgs mechanism. There is one main uh, uh, expectation that we have, uh, that is to clarify the existence or non-existence of the Higgs particle. We have a standard model of particle physics which worked very well, managed to explain lots, lots of uh, experimental observation. But the main problem that we have with this model is that it's totally unable to explain why particles have masses. The idea was to introduce a new type of particle, which is called the Higgs particle, which by interacting with those other particles would give them mass. 
The only problem is that we haven't observed it yet, and so it's going to be a major challenge. If we discover the XOR, something equivalent, a big step forward uh, will be given in science. The Higgs boson and supersymmetry are just theories. CMS and the other LHC experiments may prove these theories right or wrong. But what we do know is that they will provide us with an insight into the unknown. What physics is really about is learning your imagination to understand nature. That's what we do.